Episode 82, A Tale of Two Grinds. So this is the beginning of a new grind. Time to grind ourselves the points to get ourselves to Infinity Boots and the Bones to Peaches spell. This is going to take a little time because I've never done this before in my life. As you can see, nil, 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 nil. And uh, yeah, let's begin with the uh, Telekinetic. And this is one of the most tedious areas completed at 324 points in a Telekinetic. Again, the bonus points as well. Move on to the next area. And there's 320 points. That's good. We sorted that one out. Now we have only got probably one of the easiest ones, I hope, is the alchemy one. So all we got to do is this one, and we are out of here, done with the nice little grind here. So it's nearly done. However, what I want to do is get myself the boots so the mountain points for both enchantments take my tick graveyard and alchemist confirm we have them we just need to get more alchemist points for bones of peaches we need another 287 points and then we're good to go. But I want the boots. Let's make those lovely eternal boots. There we go. Oh, yes. We now have the eternal boots. Just need the precautions. But that is those completed so this is my farming tab well sapling tab anyway um i never thought that these would be so important in the grind of getting 93 farming um these have been just in my bank for years not gonna lie years um and actually they finally come to be a big help this means that uh, this gives me a plus three boost in farming and this will help me out by planting two spirit trees at once, as well as I get to plant my redwood tree. I just planted one now, and I hope that will rake in the experience even quicker. Especially that the spirit trees take a long time, and the redwood takes a long time to actually farm. But uh, it's been a bit of a grind. I had to be grinding for quite a lot of different um, payments, Including doing hops, it's very weird doing hops, had to grind out getting loads of monkey bits and pieces like bars and nuts and also getting the sucre tooth for the spirit trees payments. But yeah, it's just been a bit fun actually taking them away from grinds like the uh, Bones to Beaches spells and also Slayer. It's just been relaxing doing this grind for a change. So we're going to move on and hopefully we'll get ourselves 89 with this end of the trip. And our first farming level from this grind, 89 farming accomplished nothing unlocked but it's one level away till permanently unlocking redwood trees so let's go ahead and do this go back to Cerberus so we're going to get on our first kill coming back 100 sovereign 676 kc with 125 left so we will hit over 800 kc on this task Unless we get the Pegasians. We get the Pegasians and um, we will not do Cerberus for a little while longer. As I'll most likely be starting to work on preparing for Zora. So last clip we managed to get ourselves the Bones to Peaches spell unlocked. Which is a huge help for future content and future PVMing. And uh, something we can look forward to when we do the bosses. The big bosses like God Wars etc. So, at present time, as saying, we're going to do Cerberus for a bit. Do my farm runs in between, and we also got to do the Master Clue Scroll and the League Clue Scroll steps, which requires a lot of quests. Presently, not in a questing mood, so therefore we are at Cerberus trying to get a Pegasian Crystal to get that last upgraded boots. What is it, my luck, his place? Wrong Crystal? Eternal Crystal? 
second one on this account not wanted wanted the other crystal preferably but eternal crystal has been accomplished and again unfortunately the wrong crystal but nonetheless <laughs> a crystal's a crystal and my bank value just went up a little bit longer and we want the pagasians mate pagasians not the eternals there is 700 kc at cerberus still no pagasians but hopefully with the 100 when we got left we will get them. I'm just going to finish this trip off and just end this Cerberus session for now. And uh, probably do a massive farm run. Uh, we are getting rather close to 90. Let's just say that. Probably about 4 or 5 trips time we'll get to 90. Um, which will be a big milestone because it means I don't need a boost to plant my redwood tree. I do have a spare wood, a redwood seed in the bank. So, wrapping up all those lovely experiences. And time to get ourselves a big milestone farming level, which is... Ta-da! 90 farming. This is our 11th 90 skill or more. We can now officially grow our redwood trees without boosting, which is... Great, but not great because I haven't got a seed to use anymore. I've still got the seed planted, but none of the best. That is a big level. So from my very long farming trip I just completed, I am now under 500,000 experience away to 91. So I've gained 102k experience in farming that run. Uh, what we did was also a Spory kill. I uh, managed to get a personal best and I got myself a free use seed. So more experience towards the farming grind. We are now going to gear up. And do some Cerberus. Let's see if I get lucky or not. And that's our 750th kill Cerberus. And no Pegasian Crystal yet. So we shall take a small break from Cerberus. Uh, what I'm going to do now is go to Karusks. A bit random, but with my farming grind I need quite a lot of payments. Karusks are quite ideal because they drop quite a lot of payments including coconuts and papaya fruits and I'm running very low of them so that's what I'm going to do now let's go to Karusks for a bit get some those noted drops perhaps get a couple of hard clues girls do them hopefully show them to you maybe get a second leaf bladed axe and I will change my range there as well so we'll get 91 range as well awesome so that's what we're going to do and then we'll go back to Cerberus and try and get crystal occasion we've got 51 left so not too bad so i decided to collect some kingdom and voila lots of nests decided to put maximum on mahogany logs and the rest of maple but that's nice nests that's nice brews as well hopefully good seeds close roll from the birdhouses yeah i thought it was like time to start the grind at Karusks get ourselves the correct amount of payments for the papaya fruits and the coconuts for the trees I've got stored in my bank as I'm slowly approaching the better trees to plant yeah. I don't get one of these for ages now I do that's gonna keep I believe I don't get one of those for like for like a thousand kills So training some defence whilst getting payments, we are now defence 229k away. We have managed to gain ourselves 106k experience in defence this trip. And this is the spoils, very nice payments. We managed to get 9 drops of coconuts and 6 drops of papaya fruits. And uh, adding slow towards the crystal shards. Did get a clue scroll, so I'll be doing the clue scroll next. Um, however, I'm going to keep all the cast hits together until the end of this little mini grind once this mini grind is over which is going to be once I get 97 defense I will open the caskets whether there be more than one but there will be at least one hopefully a rare moment but a level 76 hunter unlocks me nothing awesome thank you game almost not but coming close to a day at the end of this day anyway so end of each day I play on RuneScape I try and do several trips to Cerberus 
try my luck with the remaining hellhounds I've got on this task, which is presently 38 so far, not so lucky, apart from that eternal crystal, which is already I have. So we shall carry on. And if I get anything, I will show you with the random trips I do. If not, then you'll probably see me killing more Karusks or getting a random level here and there. Oh, so here's a, another rare moment, another farming level. 91 farming right now. We can now plant two spirit trees, which is ironic because I just use a garden pie to plant my second spirit tree. And also triple magic roots, very nice. So we're just doing this, I had to plant pineapple, which is annoying because that's my contract. And uh, yeah, unfortunately it gave me the redwood one and I don't have any seeds left for that. So therefore, goodbye to the redwood. Hello pineapple. Pay, that's guaranteed. Perfect, that was actually the end of my run. So now 91, still plowing forward towards the 93, 94 goal. Hmm, another one. Conveniently enough that I am 3,000 experience away to the level. 97, so I'll keep that with me. That's my third leaf bladed battle axe now from Karusks in general. So I'm quite close to the drop rate. I think I need one more to get the uh, right drop rate. So we're just going to finish this up. This is what we got so far this trip. Uh, not too bad, I'm pretty happy. Uh, got quite a few coconuts and some papaya fruits. Uh, we're going to finish off the inventory, so the, the remaining prayer potions. So I will show you once I get the level. And then also show you the caskets. I've managed to get three clue skulls, uh, two caskets in the bank, and one in my inventory. So I'll sort that out before I show you the rewards. So hopefully by tomorrow, we are at last, 97 defense, we have accomplished. So it's clue scroll time. We've got three caskets in our inventory. This is all from the Corrus grind, which I'm now happy to say that I've got the correct amount of payments for the trees that I need. So I managed to get 300 or a bit further than that in coconuts and we've got quite a lot of papaya fruits which should keep me going as I'll be doing these ones as well and uh, be getting palms so I'll be getting more coconuts to refill the rest of the payment. So I'd be perfectly fine not needing to go to Karusks anytime soon. So let's start off with the first clue scroll reward. Quite a lot of money. Not helpful. Again, more sharks. Mm. Yeah, pretty average. No real unique, sadly. Moving on to probably more Cerberus now, as that's the next grind between Cerberus and farming runs. So we are near the tail end of this a very long Cerberus task. We have six remaining left from 795. Nothing special apart from one eternal crystal from this task, which is a tad annoying, but I will show you each trip. I'm getting about averagely three kills a trip, which is quite good because I've got six left, and uh, hopefully, we might get that pegasian with those six kills. Highly unlikely, I don't think I will, but it looks like it's going to take another at least another task to get those, that crystal, which is annoying. Man, the kill count ain't 100. One left to go of the task, but back to back pure essence, not what I would like. And here we go, the last kill of this task at Cerberus 801 KC. What is it going to bring us in this one? Da, da, da. OQP, a ring chain body. <clears throat> so our hunt for the Pagasian Crystal continues. <sighs> Time to get another task, I guess. No change. A nice task to get Cave Krakens. Um, yeah, I'm going for the enhanced trident so I might as well go for that so I'm quite close I think I've got like six or seven um crack and tentacles so I'm gonna go for that supply drops are very nice as well and uh, yeah let's just go ahead and do that thing is we're gonna get the uh, slayer level with this task 
we are 3869 experience away to 96 layer. So once we get this level, I think I'm going to end the video, but first off we did manage to get a hard clue scroll from Mutated Bloodfields, a lovely task as well itself, and uh, also going to do another farm run before I start doing this task as well. Farm runs, I'm getting quite close, 340 experience away to 92, so pretty much nearly halfway towards the level, and I've got a big chunk of saplings left. A very big chunk I'll show you shortly. So here is the sapling situation. Look at all of them slowly slaying through the uh, old spirits ones. So we've got quite a few calcuts but now I found out the calcuts take about a day and a half I believe to grow so not as bad as first thought. So potentially I could get this farming section completed within perhaps a month or two. Not as bad as per per uh, previously thought. So also collecting a bunch of these Yanidian hops uh, the experience is incredibly slow getting that, but however, they are needed to pay off for the mahoganies, so that's why I'm doing that as well. So doing quite a lot of farm runs, which also gives out quite a lot of herbs. Quite a lot of herbs, I've got quite a lot to use up, quite a lot of them to use up as well. But I don't think I have enough just yet to pull off 90 herb lore. Would be a huge result to get that, but we do have quite a few snapdragons to use up. And we are starting to use other seeds as well, like the canstines at the moment. Canstines, though, I've got quite a few white berries from that, that Karuska grind, so very, very helpful with that. Run out of Raynar seeds and pretty much run out of Snapdragon seeds, but here's some pots I made earlier uh, yesterday. But we've got quite a few crushed nests starting to form as well, which is from the old bird runs I've been doing now, and then between the farm runs I've been doing. So just, it's looking in increasingly good with the herbs and farming and as well as just pots and just preparing for Zora really because we are working towards Zora basically the one thing we need is the Pegasian crystal but I don't like skipping opportunity tasks like Cave Kraken, Mutated Bloodfields, boss tasks even shaman tasks are incredibly tedious however gives you the chance to get that Dragon Warhammer so until I get the Dragon Warhammer shamans are still going to be in the play uh, there's other tasks as well I enjoy doing, so Smoke Devils, don't, don't harm me. Um, dust Devils, don't harm myself as well. Necrules and Gargoyles are good money. So it's just those are tasks I can't just happen to skip and just go for Hellhounds for the Pegasians. So that's why I'm not dragging it out, but I just don't want to miss the opportunity of a potentially profiting and potentially more upgrades of a task. So we're at 5.4 million, but that's pretty much just challenging into the old kingdom. And uh, yeah, we have quite a few crew scrolls, including the Elite and Master. I think once I have the Pagasian, I will work to these grinds. These grinds is meaning as I can need to do six stupidly annoying quests. However, these quests should have been done way, way, way ago. And I should technically have a quest cape a long time ago. However, I'm not a fan of quests. Quests I can be, depends on what sort of mood or situation I'm in. However, in the mood I'm in is like no quests at present. Just farm runs for a change. I hadn't done farm runs like farm runs for like for many months until I finally discovered about the saplings and it just clicked to my mind that hey, there's some free levels there, free upgrades for myself. Might as well just use it. Free experiences there, just building up over time with the seed vault. So that's what we're doing. So these two I think I need the My Arms Adventure sort of style stuff and that quest lines. And there are quests I should be doing, but at present, just not. I should technically just finish off Dragon Slayer 2. I just need to kill one boss. Just keep screwing up. But I feel like once I get the Pagasians, I will probably use the Pagasians to help my advantage on the gear for Slayer, Dragon Slayer 2 to complete that quest as well. So as I say, pretty much most stuff is relying on this Pagasian crystal grind. But I do start need to think about doing some more food supplies. I've got quite a lot of sharks, but not really enough. And I'm starting to run at low of those stupid fish names that I can't pronounce very well. But indeed, I'm going to have to go fishing soon. But there is quite a few levels I'm close in skilling. So probably could be doing quite a lot of skilling levels soon in the future. And uh, yeah, just working towards... I wouldn't say I'm working towards max, but it'd be, it'd be nice in the very, very long-term future. Potentially that might happen, but... Rune crafting the way I hate rune crafting, but close to level 70. So if I had to keep on doing the tiers of graphics and maybe just do a couple of rune crafting grinds, I would get 77 eventually in that way. So I can start working on other diaries and stuff.
Go to stop reapping onto his hard frisco and then onto the Kraken task to get ourselves the slayer level. And cast your time from mutated blood felt. Hmm, not bad. Coil of alcohols, thank you very much. And there we have it. Where you can see in the text that we've got 96 slayer and 20 25 total. 96 slayer didn't unlock anything that I can imagine. But nonetheless, a very, very nice level to achieve. So I'm going to quickly get away from this place and then resume the task. <clears throat> However, I want to end the episode here because 2025 total is a very nice round number and uh, also 96 Slayer. Lovely stuff. I mean, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, this episode. And um, yeah, let's just continue with the Slayer grind, working towards the Pagasian Crystal. Of course, it seems to be impossible to get for me at the moment but uh yeah not too bad of an inventory as well from that little session at kraken so see you later thank you again and i'll see you later goodbye